Ok, so in this video I'm going to quickly show you how to create uh, one beautiful and uh, well animated bottom bar in your Android application with a Jetpack Compose. Now this bottom bar that I'm using right now is actually one library that you can find on this uh, GitHub link. So this repository is called uh, Android Animated Navigation Bar. And below you can see one uh, GIF image that represents this um, uh, animation in uh, three different ways. In this uh, first one we can see that this uh, ball is actually sliding from the left to the right. In the second one here in the middle we can see that this uh, ball is actually jumping from uh, one to another item in this bottom bar. And in this last example here we can see that the ball here is actually uh, teleporting from uh, one item to the another. Now uh, down below you can also find uh, all other different information about the parameters, about the required and the optional parameters of this composable function. And the only thing that you need is uh, this dependency. So let's go back to our project and here I have already uh, added that dependency. And also I have prepared one uh, demo example as well. Now here in our main screen composable function we have a simple scaffold uh, in which I have defined a bottom bar. And inside that bottom bar we have just to call this uh, animated navigation bar composable function which accepts uh, multiple different parameters. But as you have seen in that documentation only two of them are actually required. So selected index and the content. So selected index here is a zero uh, by default, as you can see right there, and we are changing this uh, selected index value uh, by uh, clicking our actual uh, item in this uh, animated navigation bar, okay? So here I have also defined the actual uh, shape, so I have defined here a corner radius shape of uh, 34 uh, pixels, or sorry, DP, as you can see. Uh, then here I have defined uh, the ball animation to be uh, parabolic, which is basically uh, jumping from the one item to the another. We have also two different uh, more examples. So we have a teleport and a stride to slide basically from uh, one item to the another. Uh, we also have a parameter here indent animation, but I'm not going to showcase in this video. Anyhow, it's just uh, an indent uh, within your bottom bar. Let's go back now. I have also here specified a bar color and a ball color. So both of those are uh, uh, primary colors, right? And of course, uh, within this animated navigation bar, uh, we need to define uh, how many items we want to uh, add to this uh, bottom bar. So in this case, I have defined here uh, three different uh, bottom bar items, because I have called here a for each function on this navigation bar items, which is just a simple uh, list that contains uh, all those uh, enum uh, constants. So in this case, I have created uh, three different uh, constants, for those navigation bar items like a person, call and settings and each one of them contain uh, one simple icon, right? Also I have one simple um, extension function on a modifier which basically allow us to remove or disable a ripple effect um, uh, with those actual uh, items right here. And here as you can see we are just uh, calling that for each uh, function and for each uh, constant in this uh, enum class we are creating one box and uh, one icon inside that box. We have here added one uh, logic, so uh, for the color of our icon, as you can see, I'm not sure how much you can see right here, but a uh, selected um, bottom bar item here is uh, colored in white, and those uh, not selected uh, bottom bar items are actually a little bit uh, less visible, okay? And here I have used that selected index value to compare it with the actual index value of our current uh, bottom bar item. And if those two are the same, then we are using here on primary, otherwise we are using inverse primary color. And there you go, so that's how you can easily uh, implement this uh, quite uh, interesting and uh, well animated library within your project in uh, Android, with a Jetpack Compose of course. So be sure to comment down below and let me know uh, what you think about this uh, library. And of course uh, be sure to like this video but only if you find it helpful. For this video, that'll be all. God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend when they lay me down to rest.